So guys, you're not gonna believe this. This Galaxy phone isn't like the others. It was made during a time when phone companies were really experimental. Really experimental. And this is one of those devices. Ladies and gentlemen, the Samsung Beam. Despite this thing coming out in like 2012, I have never heard of this phone until recently. And apparently they still make them, kind of? I mean, when I got mine, it was new in the box and I got that off eBay. I swear to god, if this thing isn't unlocked, I'm gonna literally die. Okay. We're in. Oh my god, this interface is so nostalgic to like the S3, S4 days. So it's really nice to see that again after so long. So to access the projector, there's actually a dedicated app to it. So the main option that you'd use the most is the visual presenter. That's gonna mirror the screen. So that way you can watch movies and videos and play games and whatnot. And the projector itself is actually pretty good. If you move far back enough, the screen looks like it's like 12 to 14 inches wide. The phone is obviously not big enough to have a projector that can produce 30 to 40 inch projection, it's still pretty solid. At first I thought you'd have to adjust how far the phone is so that the image is not blurry, but I found out that there's a dedicated button for the projector, and you can actually digitally adjust the focus of the projection. So that was pretty cool. Now Samsung only ever made two models of this. The first one came out in 2010, and the second one came out in 2012, and after that, I guess sales weren't really that good, so they just discontinued it. But on paper and even in this video, this actually looks looks like a pretty cool idea, but the number of times I'd use this would be uh, zero. I don't think there's ever been a time that I've wished that I could just project what's going on on my phone. Yeah, I guess if you were having like a sleepover or whatever, hanging out with a group of friends and you wanted to share a video or a movie with them, then I guess that this would make sense. But that's just like one instance where I wish I had a bigger screen to share something with because yeah, trying to share your screen with multiple people around you on your phone is annoying. But I don't think that constitutes putting a projector in your phone, so this really was one of those experimental sort of early 2010s things that a phone company like Samsung would do. And although it wasn't a success, it still was interesting. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.